you can see the monitor wind vane back there you can see the uh, tiller tiller stirred transom hung rudder it's got the uh, little bimini flap uh, zipped onto the Dodger at this point but I'll probably take that off when I show you the cockpit in a minute Stan Huntingsford uh, designed full keel 26,500 pounds most of the teak is raw 45 pound CQR, a Tigris Low Franz, uh, nice windless, 80 uh, meters of chain. Roller furling head sail, the uh, stay sail is a hank on. She has lifelines of a quarter inch Dyneema. The hatches I'll open in a minute. Uh, they have new lenses. All the blue you see is new, sail pack, at least in the last uh, two years. Dodger, Bimini, and then there are enclosures for that as well. All right, I'll pause a minute. So during the uh, break, uh, besides unzipping the Bimini and rolling it up, I opened the hatches and did a couple of rigging things. We have a double preventer slash bang system that works pretty, pretty great. And then these uh, stay cell running backstays, uh, which is Dyneema, which is kind of fun. Um, you know, for a canoe stern, it's a pretty humongous cockpit. The tiller gives you, and you can obviously lift it up to the side, and you've got a ton of room. The floorboard's actually set in uh, to make it solid all across for sleeping out. Pretty, pretty sweet. But uh, before we go down, let's look at more of the above decks uh, the mast pulpits are wonderful um, you can put a uh, outboard motor on this one I actually saw another boat doing that too the uh, dip pole is on a mast mount it's got a track and closer look at that uh, beautiful windlass I'll tell you if you've ever done it any other way it makes a difference so um, you can see the decks were thankfully glassed by the last owners who lived on it 17 years and sailed around the world. It looks like about twice. Um, you have the, uh, I think what you call it, for the mast to sit on, the crutch. And uh, this is a Mystic Stainless and Aluminum folding ladder. Only need three sections on this boat. These are incredible, this little tube locking system. Uh, you come to see here, I'll definitely take that off and and show you a uh, couple of uh, variant 27 uh, self tailors for the head sail and the uh, stay sail got a couple of older single speeds uh, but they do the job for that which is mostly hand anyway um, you probably got a better look at the monitor earlier we have both a high and low wind sail for it they're stowed in this rather large Lazarette in the cockpit. They're actually in there, but you won't be able to see them. Should have taken more out. It does remind me there are enclosure panels for the Bimini. Most of the instrumentation here uh, does not work. Uh, only the depth and the where I put my Garmin, which will come with the boat. Uh, nice touch screen unit from 2017. And then there is also the autopilot panel on the lower section uh, because it has an electronic tiller minder it plugs in right here it's really nice uh, in addition to the monitor I'm sure there's lots more we could look at up upstairs here but I think we'll save uh, the rest for later next part will probably be downstairs for the sailing fans there is a couple of more things the uh, mainsail has a double tailing system from this uh, jam cleat over here, I mean to this clutch over here too. And uh, I don't know, it's about a five or six to one. Um, you've got tails on either side. It's, it's actually pretty cool. Also, it's uh, rigged for three reef points. I've got two on here now. Even with all we did, we didn't find anything that, if, if it was more than a double reef main in the stay sail, um, yeah, forget it. So that's the last on the outside, I think. I guess this is officially the 1977 Rafiki 37 on Vera 
downstairs uh, version. I'm sitting in the quarter berth, and um, so you have the stairs, and then to your left is a your basic C-shape galley. Uh, foot pump in both the galley and the bathroom is actually a separate pump for draining um, the sink, which is interesting. The uh, fridge over here has a really a freezer, uh, and there's a uh, Adley Barber condenser under the lazarette in the cockpit, and it will freeze pretty well. Um, you can open up a, a one-inch piece of PVC to let it be a uh, spillover fridge, although it's more of a spillover cooler until you put a bigger, bigger compressor. Nice front opening on that fridge, though, which is great. And... Uh, old but functional stove except for the oven and nav station exactly opposite uh, there is a GPS and a VHF the GPS is actually a, a spare or redundant uh, since the Garmin has it but it does not hurt to have um, we've also put in a, uh, the Vesper AIC which is the Sandan receive unit and uh, the antenna splitter um, Good space in the nav station. There's the digital, uh, the Raymarine teller minder. And then a huge, I won't take it out, it takes more hands than I got, but a chart drawer, these boats. Um, you really have some beautiful joinery. The garage or uh, quarter berth uh, is what it is. It's a garage. We'll look at the engine later. Um, all the blue, all the cushions are new, uh, at least within the last uh, year and a half. And um, there's good storage. There's storage behind the seats, under the seats. Um, on this side, we have uh, underneath our four Trojan six volt batteries. Um, and the Dickinson stove is on the uh, bulkhead. Good storage with sliders below, cabinets above. I forget the names of these, but they're incredible. That comes. The head, pretty basic, but it does have a nice uh, Raritan Elegance electric uh, toilet. Um, they work actually pretty pretty well. So, and some decent uh, cabinet storage and a medicine cabinet. There's the pump. Opposite is uh, certainly could be used for pantries, basically shells. Could be turned back into a hanging locker probably too. Uh, Ford. Um, good time to mention these incredible bronze ports up here. Now they all have opening glass. Uh, this one also, these up here also have uh, a solid piece uh, because of what they take in some seas. And uh, we found this uh, unbelievably comfortable living on this bed, anchor locker up forward, more shells. Huge storage underneath, while they use some of what's on the left uh, for the holding tank. And for a quick look, without digging into the villages, uh, that'll do it except for the engine, which I'll, I'll take a separate take for. Well, the stairs lift off uh, pretty darn easily and quickly. And the uh, cover, which there is soundproofing, this lead uh, stuff, lead back stuff, which is nice. And then uh, Yanmar 3GH4E. It's, a, uh, it's, it's enough for this boat. We've been in heavy currents and some places where we really needed it and never let us down. Um, about 3,300 hours. And uh, we can show you more in there, but that'll wait in case you request.